Happy Sunday, everyone. It's Isabel Brave. I've missed you so, so much. It's been a very hard time. I haven't been feeling too well, but I've had a lot of blessings, a lot of miracles, and I wanted to share them with you. And I wanted to sing you a little song that came to me last night while I was not feeling so well that helped to make me feel a little bit better. My God is so good to me. If you knew him like I know him, then you would know him like I do. He made all of the birds and bees. He made all of the flowers and the trees. He put the sand upon the shore. It came from mountains that ain't there no more. My God is so good to me. If you knew him like I know him, then you would know him like I do. You would know him like I do. Anyway, that's just something that came to me last night. So, I have good news and a lot of miracles. Where do we begin? The disability. It was a worry that I wouldn't be able to get disability from the government uh, that they might not consider me disabled because I'm young or because of the diseases that I have and they're maybe not so traditional and apparently they're infamously difficult to get disability for despite their seriousness and uh, some people that I'd spoken to it had taken them years and some years and yet still they are waiting and fighting and taking it to the Supreme Court, I mean, you name it. And um, this was something that I definitely needed and so did my doctors think since I really cannot work at this point, um, any day I think that I will be healed, but at this point it doesn't look so good. And um, so we sent in from last video a request for me to get disability and that I was disabled and it took them 10 business days from the day it was sent out to the day I received a check from them 10 days which is just a miracle that's that's really God at work right there and I'm very grateful for that that's something that is needed and I'm glad that God provided that so and let's see um, mm. <laughs> I went to visit my parents on a day when I could drive and the neighbor decided to come by at that moment which was odd but the neighbor has a daughter and she came over she's training to be a veterinarian I think and so she loves all of God's little creatures and she'd found this little snake and it was all coiled around her fingers in such a way and she says look to my father she says isn't it neat we just found him and he takes a close look at it <laughs> which kind of made me nervous snakes don't bother me but I know animals are animals right but it just was interested in being coiled around her fingers and he takes a look at it and he says now that's a rattlesnake it's a baby but it's a rattlesnake you know its venom is weak but it's it's a rattlesnake you've got there. And we looked and sure enough, the end of its tail, though it had not yet had a rattle, was vibrating. So, and it had this little black tongue that kept coming out. And she asks me, would you like to hold it? And I said, well, sure. And I reached my hand out. The creature just, whoosh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how fast snakes are, if you've seen that, or if you can find a video if you haven't seen that. I, I've felt like I was pulling back in slow motion compared to how fast it darted out when I came anywhere near it and it bit me and I felt it it was like uh, velcro that kind of feeling and I went oh you know and I looked and my finger was not wounded I had no indentation no bleeding no cut no nothing not a mark plus it surprised me that the snake would so despise me <laughs> and I thought well I thank goodness it's so young perhaps 
its teeth cannot pierce the skin and I'm fortunate in that way. And a moment later, uh, my father was taking photos of the snake, lots of flashes in its eyes and I think it had had enough and it bit the girl. And she said, oh, ouch. And her finger was not only pierced and bitten, but bleeding. She's okay. It's been a week. She's fine. It's a baby, so like a, like a bee sting, you know, it's, it's not that powerful venom. But I realized, like Paul, and like it says in the Bible, the serpent really hates us. <laughs> But it could not hurt me. It bit me and could not bite me, if you know what I mean. And I was so amazed and blessed by that. I loved that that snake hated me, in fact. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic of a compliment. And the fact that it could not harm me was just amazing. Anyhow, you know it says you will take up deadly serpents and it cannot harm you. Just amazing. He really is amazing, the way he blesses and provides miracles. And there's a bunch more, but I don't want to rattle on too long. I don't know, 631, sorry. Anyhow, I hope all of you are doing a lot better than I am. And if you need prayer, just let me know so I can pray for you. Of course I need it. So. Uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better soon instead of worse and I can come back to you on a more frequent basis and all of this because I miss you terribly and I hope you miss me too. So I will see you next time and um, I guess that's it. Just feeling very, very... <laughs> Alright, bye!